ده What does it mean similar but uh, similar words or word similar in form and the close in meaning? Uh, let's start here. Some words not only look similar, but are quite close in meaning. The United Nations should intervene to stop the civil war. So what does it mean intervene here? To become involved? Yes. Yes, that's right. So intervene here, uh, it means, yes, to act in a way that prevents something happen, happening or influences the result of something, like what you have said. So intervene uh, and so intervene to stop the civil war. So Pippin neutral in meaning. Look at the second one. She shouldn't interfere in things that don't concern her. What does it mean inter uh, interfere here? To save as be... Yes, it means to try to take part in somebody's affairs. In Arabic, it means يتدخل. Okay, so intervene, intervene here equals to it's near or similar to interfere, okay? Okay. But what is the difference between intervene and inter and interfere? Intervene it means step in neutral. But uh, interfere here it means to um, uh, to involve herself. Okay. Negative and critical. The third one. Uh, let's move to another example here. The phone, the phone has been ringing continually. It's uh, driving me crazy. So what does it mean continually here? Anna? Yes, Mr. Yeah, so what does it mean continually here? My question. What does it mean continually? Uh, for, uh, for, to, to continue for a long time. Continually here it means very frequently. It means very frequently, but often negative. We use continually here to convey negative meaning. Yeah, and it means very, uh, very frequently, but in a negative way. Okay. Okay. Another uh, word for... Uh, Continually, there is another word similar to this word, continuous. When I say stir, stir the mixture continuously until it boils. So, conti uh, so continuously here, it means without stopping. It means without what? Without stopping. So it's a similar. So continually equals to or similar to continuously, and intervene equals to interfere. Now let's move to another word. Uh, can you read this example, Hannah?
and there is a new series on TV about space exploration. So what does it mean series here? Set of related programs. Yes, a set of related programs. And in the second example, when I say, I don't want to miss this week's episode of Oliver Twist. It's a serial. If I miss one, I lose track of the story. So what does it mean it's a serial here? So it means set of programs where the story continue over different episodes. So again, serial, it's a similar to meaning of, uh, so serial here, it's equals to series. So we have series, we have serial. Okay. Moving to another word, when I say we sat in the shade of a big oak tree. So oak here is a kind of tree. So what does it mean in the shade of? In the shade of here, it means out of the sun. So in the shade of here, it means out of the sun. It's a pleasant connotation. It gives us it gives us positive meaning or it conveys positive meaning. If we move to the second example, they live in the shadow. They live in the shadow of a chemical factory. So in the shadow of, it means in a place dominated by. They live in the shadow of a chemical factory. It means in place dominated by a chemical factory. So it gives us a conveys negative connotation. So in the shade of and in the shadow. So they are near in meaning, but the first one convey positive meaning in the shade of but in the shadow of, it conveys negative connotation. Okay, Hannah? Okay. So, uh, let's wrap up what we have said in this part. So, intervene. So, intervene and interfere. So they are similar in form and close in meaning. The first pair intervene and inter interfere. The second pair continually and continuously. The third pair is serial and series. The fourth pair is in the shade of and in the shade of, and the second one, in the shadow of. So one convey a positive connotation, and the second one conveys negative connotation. Clear, Hannah? Can you wrap up what you understand in this part, please? Moving to Lily, what do you understand in this part? Uh, it's like the words are similar. Inform? Yes, uh, inform, Yanet. كلمات في الشكل قريبه من بعضها وفي الم... وكمان قريبين في المعنى. Yes. Hmm. Like what? Give me examples. 
like it's a read as it's a pair. Hmm. What else? Continually as continuously. Hmm. Next. Series as serial. Hmm. Uh, it's the shade of shadows. Uh, it's the shadow of. Yes. True. Now let's move to section number B. Words or phrase words of different form. يعني شكلها مختلف. The form مختلف, but from the same area of meaning. لكن قريبين. Like, for example, the first one, when I say the cake mixture should be moist, but not sticky. So what does it mean moist first? What does it mean moist? It's like plastic watery. Yes, yeah, slightly wet. Slightly wet, like when I say her eyes were moist with tears. Yeah, and yeah, Yes. Okay, have a just a moment. I'll get a cup of water, okay? To continue. So, the first one, moist, we said, uh, when I say, uh, her eyes were moist with tears. Oh. Okay, but moist the hand of man rapid. Let's move to the second, it is slightly wet. So moist here, it means a slightly wet. Now let's move to the second example. The climate in the north is damp. So what does it mean? What 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 does it mean damp? The same thing, slightly wet, but okay. in a... yes, Hannah. It's the same. Yeah, slightly wet in an unpleasant way. And here, wet, but in an unpleasant way. Like in that area, yeah, it be negative. Damp. So the climate in the north is damp and rather cold. Okay, so both of them wet. I can explain it in the unpleasant way. Okay. Moving to the third example, when I say the theme, uh, the theme of the festival, was 1,000 years of culture. So here, the theme, what does it mean theme here? So theme, it means the, the main idea that everything following. The second one, the topic of conversation soon changed from the weather to the latest gossip. So again, topic it me here, it means the main idea and uh, the theme, the main idea, but topic here, what the people talked about at any given moment, we call it topic. Continue. 
Could you give me, could you get a verb from conversation, Hannah? Could you uh, extract a verb from conversation? Like a word similar to it? Conversation. تعرف conversation دي معناها محادثة. طب واحنا ينفع نجيب منها verb من الكلمة conversation. انت عارفة ان احنا ممكن نستخدم كلمة converse as a verb. We can use converse as a verb. No, I don't know. Yeah, we can use co converse as a verb, Hannah. يعني لما تقول أنا عايز أتكلم مع حد تقولي I'd like to converse with anyone. So we can use converse as a verb. Converse. And this is the adverb. Okay, so we have converse and the conversation. لكن لو قلتي conversely هتدي معنى تاني خالص اللي هي معناها وعلى العكس لو استخدمت كلمة conversely معناها in a way that is opposite to something okay so okay. يعني we, we can use converse as a verb conversation noun okay Okay, now let's move to another pairs that similar to each other. Like when I say the security officer at work said there had okay. been there had been a burglary. Uh, so security. So what does it mean security in this context? It means concerned with protection of property. Like the second example, when I say the safety officer told him that he must wear a helmet. So safety here concerned with prevention of accident. But they are similar to each other. So, so as again, security concerned with protection of property. Yeah, but security But safety concerned with prevention of accidents. Prevention of 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 زي moist و damp moist ممكن يكون معناها positive damp بتدي معنى negative والاثنين slightly wet theme و topic the second pair theme هو the main idea uh, the main idea that everything following فكرة رئيسية يعني topic اللي هو what the people talked about. أي حاجة بنتكلم فيها فده بنسميه topic. Security دي حاجة متعلقة بحماية الممتلكات. Safety متعلقة بالحماية من الإيه؟ من الحوادث أو منع الحوادث. متعلقة بمنع الإيه؟ الحوادث. Okay, so could you wrap up what I have said? Please, Hannah. ممكن تقولي لي what... Have you gotten this far? That the words have different forms. 
But they have the six BB. Hmm. Give me examples, please. Voice at a lab, team at topic, security at six. Yes. And you understand the difference between these words? Yes. Okay. Now let's move to phrasal combinations. Sometimes the phrasal verbs have noun forms. Do you know what does it mean, phrasal verbs, Hannah? So, phrasal verbs here, it means a verb plus preposition. Like when I say, for example, look in, look out, look out of. Look down, look up, look for, look after, look out. So verb plus preposition. So when we have verb plus preposition, we call this phrasal verb. So now what is a phrasal verb? Hmm. It's a verb plus what? Uh, verb plus preposition. Yeah, verb plus preposition. Yeah, and fell or half figure. Fell or half figure. Been some me fell is the law. Okay, Hannah. Okay. So sometimes the phrasal verbs have noun forms which may be in a different order and have different meanings. يعني انت عارفة الفريزر verbs دي هنا ممكن المعنى بتاعها بيتغير بمجرد ان حرف الجر يتغير. يعني لو قلت لك look after دي تبقى معناها يعتمد دي. look up لا تبقى معناها يبحث عن كلمة في قاموس. look for معناها يبحث عن Look down, ممكن تبقى هنا يختصر وهكذا. Do you understand me, Hannah? Yes. يبقى ال preposition هنا ال verb plus preposition. When the preposition changes, the meaning of the phrasal verb changes. طيب. Let's focus on some phrasal verbs here. هنشوف بعضهم دلوقتي. When I say six prisoners have broken out of a high security jail, again, six prisoners have six prisoners have broken out of a high security jail. So, so broken out here. It's a verb, it's a phrasal verb, okay? Broken as a word and out as a preposition. Didn't say me have phrasal verb. Look at the second example, break out as one word. Look at the second example when I say there has been a break a breakout at high security jail. So what does what does the first one mean? And what does the second one mean, Hannah? Could you guess? Hello. Hello. 
Yes, sister. What is the difference between the first and the second one? Uh, I mean, uh, when I say six prisoners have broken out of a high security jail, what does it mean broken out here? It means uh, escape. Excellent. So break out in, uh, in the first one, it means to escape from a prison. Uh, okay. طيب. Look at the second example برضو. خلينا نتكلم عنها في the second meaning ليها. لا معنى ثاني كمان. Okay. Okay. Look at the second example. وبعدين ح... طب ماشي خلينا لا نرجع نروح للناون منها. يعني خلينا نمشي بالترتيب. There has been a breakout at high security jail. What does it mean breakout? As one word. Uh, I don't know how to describe. You could say it in Arabic if you don't, if you can say it in English. Break out is the same meaning. يعني قريبة أو من the first. ولكن هي معناها there uh, there has been a breakout. معناها برضو تو يعني هي هنا بقت ناون escape from prison usually by group of prisoners. Like when I say a mass breakout from a top security prison. A breakout هنا معناها استخدمناها كناون. There has been a breakout at the high security jail. يبقى هنا معناها هروب. إنما هنا يهرب. Okay. okay. يعني الفرق إن ده verb ده noun. طب look at the second example. When I say the disease has broken out in several villages in the north of the country. What does it mean broken out here? It means the spread. Excellent, excellent. Yes, it means spread. Look at the second example. There has been an outbreak of a disease in several villages in the north of the country. Does it have the same meaning? Yes. Yes. But here we use we use it as a, a noun. So you have the breakout. Uh, when it's separated from the preposition, to be a verb. Like in the view, open one word to be a noun, okay? Got it? Yes. Okay, now let's move to the uh, here to the third example. Economists. Economists. Are looking out for sign of an end to the recession. Do you understand what does it mean recession, Hannah? No. The recession, the recode electosodi. They do what he must have a recode electosodi that, yeah, Lamma be cool and electosodi and eh, Dunia Michelle, how you feel hard. يعني في عدم استقرار وفي ركود في حركة البيع والشراء بنسميه ركود اقتصادي اوكي
Okay. Hena biul economists are looking are looking out for signs of an end to recessions. What does it mean look out here? To search for fight. Hmm? To search. Yes. Yes, that's right. So what about the second example when when we use it uh, as a noun? The outlook. The outlook isn't too good. The economy seems to be stagnant. So the outlook. What does it mean outlook here? It is the outlook. Look it out. Oh yeah, nice. Nice. Well, what uh, uh, what will probably happen? The outlook isn't good. The economy seems to be stagnant. And what does it mean stagnant, Hannah? Stagnant معناها راقد يعني الاقتصاد واقف يعني not developing not active and not developing يعني مش ناشط الاقتصاد راقد في ركود في عدم نشاط do you understand me هنا؟ yes we call it a 